Uh, good morning, everyone. Well, the Fed remained on hold, as was widely expected. The small surprise in this statement was that it uh, was, if anything, more optimistic than people had expected. The FOMC had a line about how housing has slowed somewhat, but at the same time, they took out the line warning about the possible impact of the tightening of financial conditions. That was a key reason why they had decided in September to delay tapering off their bond purchases. Otherwise, the statement was virtually the same as in September. And remember that in September, the start of tapering was seen as being delayed only until December at the latest. So, while the market has been expecting the Fed to remain on hold until March, uh, which is after the next round of debt ceiling negotiations, apparently there's still a chance that they could move as soon as December, if the data allows. That possibility helped the dollar to gain modestly against most of its G10 counterparts. Uh, the exception was the Australian dollar, which rose on uh, domestic, domestic news. Building approvals in Australia grew five times faster than expected in, in September. Um, what surprised me about, about the dollar's reaction, though, was the small size of the move in the dollar. On average, so far this year, the high-low range on euro dollar on FOMC days has been about 1%. And the absolute value of the change from the previous day has been 0.55%. Yesterday, however, the uh, high-low spread was only 0.65%, second lowest on an FOMC day, day so far this year. And the change from the previous day was a tiny 0.07% fall, actually. Uh, this is comparable only to last May when there was no change in the, uh, bank, in the FOMC state and no press conference following it. Well, now, while this um, lack of, of any major change probably reflect in the dollar probably reflects the market's view that the Fed will still be on hold until March, I think we're likely to see some further reassessment of the possibility uh, of a change in Fed policy over the next few days. If you look at our website, you can see a graph that shows the movement of euro dollar following the FOMC meetings so far this year. Uh, what it shows is that although the initial move back in May, as I mentioned, was rather weak, euro dollar did come down substantially in the days afterwards. So I wouldn't rule out a further recovery in the dollar over the next few days, particularly if the data cooperates. And I must admit, recently it hasn't been cooperating. But for more information, including uh, technical analysis, read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at INFX, wishing you solid trading.